Are you exhausted yet? <laughs> Are you tired of what you've been listening to? No. no. I think we can all show them once more again how much we appreciate all of them. Very good. And let me say, as a fundraiser with the Salvation Army, because I have done fundraising for the Salvation Army, for those that have issued $10 or more, if you've given us a check or your MasterCard or your Visa or your house or whatever, I want you to know you'll receive an income tax receipt. But this program and all the proceeds of this program go to help the Christmas program this year. I've been saying to our church here, our core, that's even as recent as this morning, keep Christ in Christmas. It's his special day. And that's been our theme throughout the Christmas season so far. And I urge you to challenge others too, to keep Christ in Christmas, because that's what Christmas is all about. Because he gave to you, and as a result, you can give to others. But we need to thank a couple people this afternoon. My list goes on fairly long here, so it'll only take 25 minutes. But <laughs> Diane Butt started us with the community chair, started us off with this program. And she really introduced us to it. <laughs> Reverend David, or Brad Peters, and Reverend Deborah Rolls, they gave us our Old and our New Testament lesson. And for that, we can be thankful for the word of Christ, the word of God. Let's thank them as well, shall we? And where would be we be without those that help us with our website, without those that are doing the broadcasting this morning or this afternoon? We want to thank George Turner for this and all that's been arranged. And I also want to thank Douglas Shown for the organist. What a beautiful job, eh? And when I look at our readers, I go down those readers and I see Graham Hart, Leslie Parnell, Henry Clark. Thank you for those readings. I met Leslie on the kettle earlier this year and she had this great bing ring of bells. And I didn't know if she was going to throw them around my neck or what she was going to do, but she was going to make sure that everybody heard that everything that went in the kettle was a blessing. For that, Leslie, we're thankful, yes. But one final person, and that is this, our guest soloist. That's what I saying. Kate, you have blessed us. You have touched our hearts. You have hit us with words that speak to us and words that we need to look at. And I'm going home with a message on my heart. Promise me. Okay? Promise me. Because that's what it's all about. And next year, December 10th, the one that does the work behind the scenes here in our core is Darlene. And we don't want to excuse her. We need to thank her as well. And this will happen again on December 10th next year. 